A few days ago, I received this horrifying email from one of the female research scholars in, I will not disclose the location, but some part of India. So she has mentioned that I'm a PhD scholar 2017 onwards and I want to know about the guidelines of UGC about scholar harassment because I'm passing through that. She also mentions that the guide has been routinely threatening, abusive and derogatory language and uh, he uh, is harassing him, her and questioning her integrity, her dress, her makeup. Even if she eats her lunch before the guide, then even that kind of humiliation is there. So, and she mentions that as a woman, I need, I need justice. And this particular uh, screenshot I am showing on the screen right now, you can just imagine if this is true and if this is happening in our country, it's so much objectionable and at the same time horrifying. Now, I posted this, I went ahead and posted um, on our LinkedIn social handle and we got a lot of people to support this. They reposted and of course mentioned what kind of internal politics, threats and harassment they faced. And many uh, of the research scholars mentioned that that's the reason they moved out of India. So I'm making this video to highlight this fact that government of India should come up with guidelines and UGC should come up with guidelines of harassment to research scholars irrespective of the gender whether it is female or male because there is a gray area right now wherein the project investigators getters and guides are the whole and sole responsible people to sign their PhD topics and you know a thesis and then only the PhD is awarded so basically this leads to a mentality where uh, research scholars are behaved as if they are slaves of the P PIs, which I believe is wrong. I'm sure 99% people don't do it. But even if 1% is happening, we need to raise our voices and pass this on to the authorities. And uh, I also mention, uh, you know, send this as a LinkedIn message to the chairman of UGC. I'm here to receive a reply from him. If I get a reply, I'll definitely update you. But what is need of the R is you should not just know the rosy picture which the coaching mafia is showing you that you know qualify CSI net and your life is set. PhD is a struggle and it can become a hell if you choose a wrong guide. And there can be toxic labs and toxic toxic labs are real. They're not just in India, across the globe, toxic labs are real. So you need to be very careful and you need to reach out to people who will guide you, help you, support you when these kind of situations happen. But for now, I will tell you this that don't change your path just because somebody is misbehaving but at the same time report this to the authorities raise your voice reach out to seniors or uh, you know people who may be able to support you but um, this is really horrifying and let me know your comments uh, do your views in the comment section and if you are somebody from all india research scholars association or somebody who can reach out to the dst or ugc please do that because this is really appalling, really uh, not how we should be treating our daughters. And definitely India needs introspection. We don't deserve this. Our research scholars don't deserve this. We are here to do good scientific research, quality scientific research. And if you are not able to do that, okay, you can always scold us on our performance, but you cannot uh, denigrate us and uh, and dispute our um, integrity or malign our reputation that's not the right thing especially uh, i will not say genders like female or male especially when that person is a highly learned person qualified csi net now is doing a phd under you that person needs to be nurtured not uh, you know harassed thank you so much for watching this video let me know your views in the comment section and please share this video with somebody so that we can reach out to the authorities and we can get justice thank you bye, -bye.